Hey guys, I wanted to show you the, uh, the feature that I discussed as uh, that is similar to lynda.com and that being you can display a curriculum based course and then split it up into different sections so it plays out in a linear fashion. Uh, but once the user registers, you can also have them essentially uh, navigate to the different lessons. So this is lynda.com. This is sort of like what I based it on when uh, we built it for another client, right? So here you're sort of searching and you can pick a different topic, it tells you how long it is, but these are locked. On yours, uh, obviously it would be free, but we can have the ability to lock it and sell these as well if for some reason you wanted to. So now let me show you how this actually works on on this website. So this is another website that I built and uh, they have parental baby classes, right? So they're called video courses. This differs greatly between what we currently have on Joint Summit in that there it's primarily built to host events, like if you're having a Zoom session and then we can host the video and then it will link out to the video uh, on YouTube or Vimeo. This actually turns it, the platform into more of a curriculum based course. So you can assign instructors, so you can put Gord's face here, for example. We can uh, put uh, David David's, uh, not you David, but uh, David, uh, the assignment, your lawyer here. And then it could be a bio about them and they can link back to the bio. Um, and then this is how you essentially play the different videos, right? So this is right now playing off of Vimeo. Now this option won't work very well within YouTube. So you do have to have a business account for Vimeo. It will play on YouTube, but uh, you're going to see all these suggested videos and it's just the interface not going to look that clean. If you're okay with that, we can just use Vimeo, uh, sorry, YouTube. Otherwise it's, I believe $60 Canadian per month or $800 a year for a full year of Vimeo business package that allows you to basically do this. Uh, but yeah, so uh, course outline, you write a description about each section and then the user can simply just fast forward and play it. Hi everybody. So these videos are split up into separate sections, meaning that I would have to edit them uh, and then write a paragraph for each one. Again, this is something that, you know, I don't know if it's even necessary. Hi, everybody. Because the video is 10 separate sections. But if you wanted to dive it in and split it up even further for your agents uh, and really push the promotion of this, then that's something, you know, we could do if we were to install this. The installation uh, of this feature on the current server would take about 10 hours or so. Uh, the biggest issue is, in fact, that the current server, again, is not really pay basically built for this. This client is paying about $320 per month to, um, to get that better server because they have a load of features that we don't really have on your platform. It will work because I did build it, so it will work on the old ones. But it's if a lot of people are using this, then it's just going to slow it down. Um, because it is using a lot of APIs to go back and forth between the video now. Anyways, let me know what you think, Dave. Uh, again, I'm splitting up the Gord's course as I'm watching it. So um, I could do this to all the other courses as well, right? It just plays a little better because right now it doesn't redirect anybody anywhere within this layout. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go back to, oh, um, just see here. And uh, yeah, how will people access this? The same way, they will basically uh, book the course and then it will be free or paid. And then this is their dashboard, right? So I just registered as David. And then people will be able to essentially access things from here. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, I can get back to the flipbook and the my favorite feature.